Harvard's what's hijacked America. They, the, 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 the Russians know what to infiltrate because we don't have a government. Congress is ceremonial, and, and globalism is a private corporate takeover of a bunch of arrogant, yuppie scum. Your take on this? Well, you hit it on the head with it, what the U.N. is talking about with the one currency. And, and it's happening. And that's why we fear it's going. That's why I mentioned the war card. If the war card is played, they'll frighten the people into something like that. We're watching the euro dis disintegrate in front of our eyes. There's going to be a time when the countries are going to be bailing out of it. Nobody's meeting the, the, the Maastricht Agreement accords on, on their ratios of budget deficits, and GDP, etc. So what we're looking at, again, current events form future trends. What's the Dow at now, Alex? It's, it's at March 1999 levels. Hey, stay in the market. Don't worry about it. This is a buying opportunity. You have to be in it for the long term. What was gold doing back in 1999? Oh, it was around $250 an ounce. Oh, and what's it today? around twelve hundred dollars an ounce but you know buy stock and they make fun of everybody that wants to buy gold particularly the toilet paper of record they call us gold bugs gloom and doomers because we don't buy into their line of baloney remember i talked about the people that we couldn't stand that wanted to be the class presidents and the student no, I've noticed heads. that all these globalists, it doesn't well, matter well, if it's George Bush or Rick Perry or Trent Lott or Al Gore, they're all male cheerleaders. I exactly. mean, the, the, the biggest kiss And, and then there's the other ball. ones, Alex. The other ones were the writers for the school newspaper. Here they are. And they're in front of us. They're Brian Williams. They're Katie Couric. They're Matt Lowers. They're the people that used to write things about the president, the principal, excuse me. It's high school. Nothing has changed. They're tame little reporters saying what the principal wants them to say. They get away with murder, literally. And by the way, talking about murder, I'm sick of hearing these lefties talk about Oh, these Tea Party people are crazy. Boy, if they got into power, oh, yeah, they'd be sending predator drones into Pakistan and killing innocent people. Oh, yeah, they'd be escalating the war in Afghanistan. Oh, yeah, they'd be putting huge military bases in Iraq. The, they're worried about the Tea Party. They'd be continuing torture. They would be introducing legislation to secretly arrest citizens. Oh, that's the Democrats. Oh, yeah, right. I'll... I thought it was the Tea Party people. Well, G Gerald, specifically, because you've said that you, and you've been saying this for the last year, that you see the total depression collapse, or, or the media admitting we're in a depression by the end of 2010. How do you see that unrolling? And in which direction uh, uh, do you see a new international order emerging? The direction of the new international more order emerging, it has to get to a catastrophic level. And that's what we fear about war. As the depression is unfolding in front of us now. What were today's uh, 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 unemployment numbers? Oh, they increased. Gee, son of a gun. All those factory orders, you know, they were worse than, quote, expected. Expected by home. Oh, how about those new home sales that collapsed? It's in front of us. It's going. It, it, all the data is adding up to a crash. We believe it's going to be a currency crash. That's our best estimate in thinking about this at the point. It's going to be a currency crash that's going to collapse the markets. Break that down because uh, you've talked about how all major currencies are doomed. You, uh, Ron Paul, countless other economists and researchers have stated uh, that this fractional reserve banking system is designed to consolidate power in the Ponzi scheme operator's hands. And we're now reaching that global meltdown. And the U.N. says oh, that all major currencies are going to fail. But again, their answer is a world government backed up by carbon taxes. Uh, how do you see that unfolding? What we see first is a collapsing in Europe. They can't sustain it. If you think our banks are in bad shape, theirs are in even worse. And I'm sick of hearing this is an American-grown problem with our subprime mortgages. It's much bigger than that. You go to Spain, Ireland, you go around, they overbuilt these areas just like they did 
in Florida and Las Vegas. They have their own stuff. And so we look, we're looking at the central banks in Europe are doing exactly what they said they weren't going to do. They're buying up all the bad paper. It's going to run out. We believe the collapse is going to happen in Europe. Oh, and here's what's going to happen before then. We're going to start seeing more and more terrorism. And what you saw happen in Toronto, they know what's going on. That was a test. What did they spend at the G20 meeting to protect the, quote, leaders? What leaders? A leader isn't a, doesn't have fear to walk by themselves. They don't have to spend a billion dollars to protect them. That was a, the people are uprising around the world. So that's what we're looking at. Simultaneous issues, terrorism, uprisings by, by the populations, a currency crisis and equity markets collapsing at the same time. And you know what, Alex? The BP disaster, unfortunately, looks as though it's going to be the dust bowl of the 21st century. Gerald Salente, I, I was just going to have you for one second because I know you're busy today, but can you come back with a little five-minute segment and give us your breakdown on where the oil spill's going? Yes, I can. Excellent. Thank you. Gerald Salente is our guest. We'll give you his website on the other side and tell you how to subscribe to his must-read Trends Journal. If you're a business owner or you're a mother, a father, if you're in government, if you're in law enforcement, everyone should read the Trends Journal. I know I do. Gerald Salente is the real deal, and we're honored to have him. Stay with us.